Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Fast API. Today we are going to learn how to upload an image to the Firebase Cloud Storage using the Fast API and the Python. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So project I'm going to open with my terminal. Okay, let's open the VS code. Done. Let's comment the previous code that we have done. That is upload image. I think we have done the upload image with Cloudinary, the last video. Comment this. Let's add the code of the Firebase. So here we go with the Firebase code. Okay. So let's update the credentials. So here we have a path to the service account.json. So here we have, I think, so this is the path. So let me rename this. Okay, so this path is added. What we'll wrap this? What else we required? The bucket URL, I think. Already I have this is upload file, right? So let me go with so let's next one step is that is storage bucket I need to put. So here we go with this one. So let me go for my storage and I require the bucket. So here we go with this one. Copy the path and just add it. Okay, so this is added. How to get this service account file? I let you know. Go to your Firebase, go to your project settings and here you can see service accounts. So if you haven't generated something or you don't know how to generate, watch my previous videos. You will get to know about that one. Okay, moving to the next. So here we have import from the fast API file, upload file and the HTTP exception. We have to install the Firebase admin. If it is not installed, we have to install. Okay. Then we are importing the credential storage and the initialize app. Okay. Then typing import from the optional. Okay. Next, initialize the Firebase Airbin SDK with the help of this. Now we have a upload part. So uploading the image. So we are uploading the JPEG, JPG, and PNG. Okay. That files are allowed. Determine the path of the Firebase cloud storage. So if there is no path, then path file.name. Then upload the file to the Firebase Cloud Storage with the help of the storage.bucket and the blog path. Then this method will help you to just upload the file and it will generate and return the public URL of the uploaded file. Okay, with expiration of the 10 minutes, right? Return the URL. Let's save this code and let's go to the terminal and run. Okay. So let's go and just check this. And here we are at the docs for the swagger. Okay, so upload file is there. So I think already I have installed the packages that written over here. So make sure you have to add the add here Firebase admin fast API. Okay please make sure you have to install next let's try it out and here you can see that in my firebase storage there is no files yet right so let's try to upload it so here we go with the browse upload images fast cloudinary i'm going to upload execute and what it says internal server error let's have a look url expired general got an expected key argument expires in unexpected argument it receives so let's remove this i 
and let's check is uploaded or what you can see that it's uploaded but the issue is the signed URL only okay so here you can see that image is uploaded right so let's check the signed URL let's try to browse a new image MongoDB image let's execute it again unexpected until transform date time delta got class type null so I think the signed URL has the issue so let me check this part okay so here we go with again the image is uploaded right here you can see because signed URL is very important so give me a second to check this okay meanwhile you understand the code okay just give me one minute more so here we have to go with my now we can check that the how to get this part and here you can see we will make a format with how to download the public url and i will update you on the scene okay so this is how you can upload the images to the firebase any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day i will explain you later on that how to get retrieve the url firebase url okay that's pending from my side thank you so much have a great day